man from Kent smashed his truck into his ex-wife's house, then shot her in front of their children before driving away and eventually taking his own life. Como Force Joe Marino found out the wife had applied for a protection order but was turned down. Joel is live in Renton. Dan, she actually submitted this request late last month, but a judge uh, turned it down, actually dismissed the case. Today, she ended up here at Valley Medical Center with a bullet wound to her hand and trying to explain to her kids what happened to dad. The tire tracks go straight through this home near Kent, which still shows extensive damage from the truck that crashed through it early this morning. Mm -hmm. Carol Vandal was getting ready for bed when her neighbor's children banged on her door for help. And she says, my mom's been shot, my mom's been shot. Investigators say Dion Fisher, the driver, showed up at his ex-wife's home, smashed his pickup through a front window, then pulled out a handgun. Uh, once he rammed in, he got in the house and started firing shots. Uh, apparently, he was looking for his ex-wife. Deputies say Fisher shot his wife once in the hand, leaving the couple's three children terrified. Um, I understand that a couple of them jumped out the back window uh, when uh, when he came into the house. Another one stayed and hid inside the house, and uh, they are, from what I understand, his biological kids. The couple divorced in 2009, but last month, the wife filed for a domestic violence protection order. In it, she claimed Dion Fisher is bipolar and abused alcohol and other drugs. She also said he was sending goodbye texts to their children, which caused her to fear for the safety of the kids. A judge denied the request, but neighbors say the erratic behavior continued at a recent custody See, hearing. And uh, he didn't show up. He said he wanted nothing to do with them. Just leave him alone. Investigators say Fisher sped off from the house and led deputies on a chase through Maple Valley before getting away. They found his truck at a trailhead near Gold Bar a few hours later. They say Fisher had shot himself to death. She was trying to do the best she could, but he didn't want any part of it. Now, the ex-wife, she should fully recover. As far as her protection order being denied, well, the judge said that uh, her case lacked specifics to prove to the court that her husband was actually a threat. Live here in Renton, Joel Marino, Como 4 News.